afternoon guys i haven't vlogged all morning just because this morning i was running really really late i forgot everything i was meant to go over to my mum's house like home home and stay over there tonight because i haven't seen her in a while but i packed everything except for my laptop which i really need tonight to do homework and i need it tomorrow it's literally the only day that i need to bring my laptop to school and of course I forget it so I'm gonna have to go home to point cook home instead and I'll probably see my mum tomorrow instead I don't even know why I said instead twice but now it is lunchtime and I am on my way to office works as there's no one really really close so I'm going to the one on bridge road and I have about half an hour to try and make it there and back so let's hope that I can do that on time i also need to get a ruler from there which is apparently 30 dollars. that is ridiculous i swear this course is so expensive so i am finally back from office works i'm in the school car park and i bought someone commented saying that i was saying it wrong so i apologize but i bought this it is a tri-scale ruler which is like an architecture ruler and it costs thirty dollars which is ridiculous i don't even know what we're going to be using that for but i think we're like going to be designing 3d stuff and i also brought this it is an a3 folio and that cost twenty dollars so all up i spent fifty dollars at office works just for school supplies i've probably spent a lot of money since the start of the year dress on school stuff which is like insane i don't even know why like everything we have to pay for we have to pay, we have to buy a toolbox we have to buy all books we have to print stuff out and using a printer at home it's not the best quality so you have to either print it out at office works or get it printed out at school which is really expensive it's like a dollar and ten cents for one sided color piece of paper so that sucks and I have like three assignments due soon, so I have to get those all printed out of office works and those pages are gonna be insane. But yeah, I just made it back on time. I have like five minutes to kill, so I'm gonna walk in now and I'll speak to you guys when I finish school. Bye. Good morning, guys. So today is my day off and I cannot wait to just do nothing. But knowing my nature, I really cannot do anything. So I'm going to start doing some thumbnails as a new vlog came out today and the thumbnail wasn't on it and someone commented on the title as well. It was like number two. Just because when we upload our vlogs, we do it in a whole section. So there's one, two, three, four, whatever. And then it's easier for us to know what vlog is next. Because currently now we are uploading a whole heap of vlogs in one go, which is good. And it makes it easier for us. So I'm going to show you guys what our thumbnails look like all right so let's load let's load this is our thumbnail layout and pretty much all we do is change the back change the wording and that's it i better get this going because our thing has been up for like 30 40 minutes and i've been sleeping and i better get on to it bye guys as you guys can see, and I explained before, but all these are scheduled to get uploaded. So if you guys wonder what time our, ugh, my phone keeps going, and it goes off again. Uh, what time our vlogs come up, they go up every day at 10 a.m. So we have three more to come up. So we're never gonna be behind again. I'm doing thumbnails at the moment and annotations and all that. I'm going to tell you guys, we don't get paid when you guys give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a comment. We just love to know that we are doing a good job and you guys are responding to us. But this is our new vlog that came out today, the takeover. That's when I took over the guys apparel um, Snapchat and there's a few more that's going to be coming up. There's a prank that I did on Philly and she fully freaked out. That's a good, good video. Hey guys, I just want to give you guys a little update of business advice. 
because I know a lot of you guys are enjoying the business advice that I'm giving you guys. So I'm gonna lay down some more stuff. I just literally finished editing all the YouTube videos and doing thumbnails and stuff like that. Ignore my child behavior of swinging back and forth on a chair. I, I don't know, it's something I do. I just wanna show you guys something. So I'm going through orders right now. I'm moving along with my day-to-day -day stuff. I'm going, uh, sorry, this is all off the top of the head and I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna say next and then my brain keeps skipping. But I'm doing some of my cocaine orders right now and I saw an order from a guy and he always buys my stuff, always. No matter what I release, I, he buys it or he comments on it and he goes, oh bro, I love what you're doing, rah rah, this and that. Right? This is my point, that most of the people that will support you and support your business will show you. And sometimes it's not gonna be your best friends. Sometimes it's gonna be strangers that you meet and you become best friends with them or you become really good acquaintances with them. Just because, I, this is how I feel, right? I don't wanna disrespect my friends who do watch this and if you guys are, are watching this, you guys are probably not even in this category because you guys are clearly supporting what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do, right? Friends can't accept the point that you've left them behind and now you're doing better or doing something with your life that they never could see that they could do, if that makes sense. Like, we all, my, I have five best friends. I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys and share this personal information of my life to you guys, right? I have five best friends, right? And we used to hang out every single day when I was young. And now, the only times that we hang out is on rare, very, very rare occasions. As in, one of them have a daughter now, so I'll see them at my friend's daughter's birthday. The uh, second time I see him, one of my best friends are actually in jail, right? And the only time I'll see all my best friends in one go is when we go visit him in jail. And another, like another best friend of mine used to live like two streets away from me, literally two streets away from me, and we would never see each other because our our wavelengths don't like match anymore. We're not compatible as friends because we're on such a way. Like I'm on a different wavelength and he's on a different wavelength. He's doing well for himself. I'm not saying I, I'm doing better than him or he's doing better than me or whatnot. He's doing well himself. He just bought a house. He's Him and his girlfriend are moving in. I'm very proud of him. I'm like, I've never would see that from him. It's just because it gets to a stage in life that everyone's doing their own things. And some people might not support it and some people might support it. And you just lose that relationship. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying that don't expect all your old friends to support what you're doing. You're gonna meet more and more new people that will support you more than someone that you've known for 10 years. I've met a person, right, for maybe six months and they support my clothing, they support what I'm doing, this whole YouTube thing, more than my best friends that have I've known for like 10 to 15 years of my life. That's just how I feel. So I don't want you guys to be like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna cut all my friends' rides and that. I'm just saying that if you guys will start noticing when you guys become more successful or you do something that's out of the norm for yourself and become successful on it, you meet new people and they'll support you. So don't ever feel like, oh, why my friends don't support me rides and that. You'll meet more people that will support you. Yeah, I could go on for like days. I could go on for hours. This has gone for four minutes already. And there's a lot of things I would love to tell you guys, but I'll speak to you guys soon because I need to go to Super Cheap Auto, buy some car stuff. I need to service my car today. Um, I got basketball today and I get to try out my new LeBrons, which is really, really cool. I don't mind this view right now. So that's why I'm going to keep blabbering on about nothing. If you guys can see in the corner, my drone is sitting there and my Michael Jordan poster is like hiding in the closet that I have nowhere to put. And I'm the one telling Philly that she keeps bringing like random shit home. That stuff, I don't know where to put it. Anyway, I'll speak to you guys soon. I hope you guys have been enjoying our videos. We just hit 
3,000 subscribers. Well, more than 3,000 subscribers now. I'll check right now. Hang on. I'll look at my computer. Oh! Oh! Crap! Did you guys see that? That was fucking sick! Wait, hang on. So, me being a freaking idiot, I put uh, the camera up here. And I literally, like, went to touch the computer and it fell and I caught it. That was crazy! Anyway, I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye. Wait. Sorry, I lied. I'm telling you guys how many subscribers we have now. <laughs> 3,018. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you guys so much. Comment below what more you want to see from us. What? Everything. Anything. But we've got some crazy things coming out. Uh, for our one year anniversary of our YouTube, um, we're going to be changing the intro. Uh, most likely, we're going to try to add Honey and Biggie into it. Um, we are going to do other crazy things. I can't think of the top of my head at the moment because I'm brain dead. Thanks, guys. Not brain dead, but my brain's not working. Bye. Uh, just finished going to the post office and what's funny is that we've been really having problems with this post office because they keep saying my stuff is overweight. And like, a t-shirt's not 500 grams, let's be real right now. But, what's funny is that one of the girls that works there is a subscriber to us. And thank you for making my life easier at the post office because that post office sucks. Post office at Point Cook Town Center, you need to suck. You need to step your game up. Because she was weighing my t-shirt and it was like 500 and one or two grams. It was like less than five grams over. She's like, no, sorry, you have to buy a three kilo satchel. I'm like, what the hell? Why the hell would I pay that much? It would be cheaper for me to actually just post to buy stamps. So annoying. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to go super cheap order. I'm going to buy some black spray paint and I need to buy oil because I need to service my car. So I need oil filter as well. I might change my spark plugs as well might as well do that whilst i'm underneath the car or on top of the car or underneath the hood whatever you want to call it uh what else do i need to do i need to buy a number plate protectors because i want to protect my cool number plates uh philly's coming back home today she's supposed to go visit her mom today but she forgot her laptop so she's going to come home and hang at home today and then she'll go back home home later i'm watching this undercover cop watching me do what i'm doing and Philly just text messaged me. Anyway, guys, I'll speak to you soon. I need to go super cheap order right now. Oh, I love super cheap order. Got to find some number plate protectors. Let's see if they have some in stock for me. Why are they so expensive? Oh, there we go. Found some. For a piece of plastic that uh, covers my number plates, 40 bucks. Mm, I'll think about it how cool this thing is it's like it tells you what oil your car needs and it doesn't have Jeep that's useless uh, so I'm eating at the moment but I end up buying the number plate protectors because I wanted them for so long now and I've been telling Philly that I wanted them so long now I can't believe I paid 40 bucks just then for a piece of plastic that's going to cover my number plates. Freaking ridiculous. But they didn't have the um, oil filter that I needed for my car, so I actually have to go to the Jeep. I'm pretty sure there's a Jeep dealership somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure it's that way or that way. But um, I need to go there and get an oil filter because I need to change my oil filter as well. I'm actually enjoying my day off today. It's really good to have a day off, as I told you guys, just to um, fill your tank back up. And yeah, I'm enjoying just doing things that I like. I'm going to wash my car later and just sit around and do nothing and play basketball. Guys, I'm currently just left the Jeep uh, serve some parts area. Uh, if you guys can see, these dudes are so cool. So I bought a oil filter, right? This one right here. And I was like, wow, it's so expensive. It's 25 bucks for an oil filter. Usually oil filter is only like 10 to $15. But he gave me engine flush for free. And he gave me some windscreen washer stuff. So it like cleans my windshield better. Because clearly I don't need it. Because my windscreen is clear as daylight. 
Damn, as soon as I said that, look how dirty that bit is there. But look how, I can't believe they gave me free stuff. Man, Jeep, you guys are freaking awesome. Hey guys, so Boo has gone to basketball. It's a Wednesday night and I think he's playing at Coburg and Footscray. I didn't actually go with him just because I have heaps of homework to do and I'm a little bit stressing out. But I just showered and I washed my hair and I did something really impulsive I'm about to show you. I just cut my hair off. So I cut off I'm not sure if it looks like much to you guys, but I cut off maybe like in between 5 to 10 centimeters. And just the ends of my hair was getting really, really gross. Like whenever I brushed it, it just wasn't nice. So I cut it off. It actually made quite a difference because my hair was down to like here. But yeah, I think I really want to cut it to like around here. So I still want to get off like another 15 centimeters. And I want to dye it lighter, so hopefully that will happen. And yeah, I literally just winged it, and it's actually not too bad, it's pretty even. All I did was bring half of each side to the front, and my mum gave me these chopping scissors, which are really, really sharp and really good. And then I literally just snipped the ends and then went up this way, and yeah, it's not too bad. I might even go a bit shorter tomorrow. We'll see how it goes when it dries. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It looks like this. If you guys don't know what it looks like. The subscribe button will be under here, anywhere around here. Just click anywhere around here. And if you haven't watched our previous video, our vi previous video will be over here. A pair of shoes, but I wanted Jordans more than anything. Jordan sixes were my favorite shoe. Like they were, they were what I always wanted, but I never could have because I was just like.